What's up guys, this is Jimmy with High Fly Strength Systems and today I want to talk to you about something that's pretty relevant to me right now considering I have a meet coming up in about 10 days. And what it is is essentially the importance of goal setting and the various types of goals that powerlifters have. And this is a pretty important topic for me because if it wasn't for goals I prob probably would have given up at this point considering uh, my training cycle isn't going as planned. I've had some unexpected injuries and I'm a little beat up, more beat up than I should be leading into the meet. So the first type of goal that you're going to be setting as a powerlifter is going to be a uh, process oriented goal. So that's a goal like I want to squat five days a week or I really want to start benching and deadlifting in a daily undulating periodization style and continue that for 12 months. A process oriented goal is essentially a goal that you're going to set to stay on track and continue training until you know the long run until the until you are done training anyway so it keeps you on track that's what a, a process oriented goal is for and these are really important because you can unintentionally hit all of your other goals if you just stick with the program and that's something that I really encourage most of my clients to remember is that maybe they aren't performing maximally at any given time but if they just stick with the program that I designed for them I have their best intentions intentions in mind so it might may or may not be accounting for the fact that they might feel bad at a, a given time so if a client of mine set a process oriented goal of sticking with the program for I don't know 14 weeks until they decide they want to start changing some, some things up, uh, that would be a really good example of a process-oriented goal. So the second type of goal that you're going to set for yourself as a powerlifter is going to be a performance goal. So that's kind of like a goal that you're going to have at the end of a training cycle or maybe at a meet. And it's a goal that essentially shows your performance and shows that the process-oriented goals that you have set for yourself have allowed you to essentially train for those performance goals. And the importance of these are that they need to be realistic, they need to be attainable, and they shouldn't be too far away out of reach. So don't start training and say, oh I have a performance goal of hitting a 500 pound squat within a year of training. Now that might be realistic, but you might, you probably won't know until about half a year into training to see where your initial gains are. So the performance goal needs to be fairly within reach and for me those goals are relatively within reach uh, if I compare them to my previous meet. And lastly are outcome goals or long-term goals. So the long-term goals are something that you want to do maybe for the entirety, like a long-term goal that you have for the entirety of your powerlifting career. So maybe you want to be a world record holder in the squat or the deadlift of the bench or maybe you want to compete at IPL Worlds and then maybe call it quits. I hope you don't call it quits after that, but it's a really long-term goal. They're pretty far out of reach right now, but if you work and follow the process-oriented goals, achieve a few performance-oriented goals, you'll most likely be able to hit the long-term goals well in the long term. So which one is most important? Well, that really comes down to the individual. It depends what your process-oriented goals are, it depends what your performance-oriented goals are, and what your long-term goals are. If you don't plan on having any long-term goals, you don't really care what happens in the long term, you just are in it for the short-term gains of the performance-oriented goals, then I would say that the process-oriented goal is the most important because the only real way you're going to get your performance-oriented goals is by sticking with the process, sticking with the program for a certain amount of time, and you'll get your performance um, goals. And I would even say that if you are going to stick with powerlifting or whatever your sport is for a long period of time, that your process-oriented goals are going to be the most important because those are really going to keep you in the game for as long as you want. But even then, I would assume that process-oriented goals get fairly boring and having updated performance goals that are well within reach or they're just difficult enough that you have to train for six or eight, six months or maybe a year to attain them will keep you in the game longer because there's nothing that makes you happier than hitting something that's well within reach of your goal and when you actually hit that goal it's going to be a lot more satisfying than simply achieving your performance or your uh, 
process oriented goals. Because if you are, get super excited about the process, that's fun and awesome, but sometimes when you feel like shit, you don't wanna to go to the gym, it's not that you're gonna look at your process oriented goals, it's you're going to look at, okay, what are my performance goals? Can I hit those short term goals if I skip the gym today? Probably not, maybe you will, I don't know, that's up to you to decide. But in my opinion, your performance oriented goals are going to probably be the most important type of goal and I recommend setting multiple of these almost every year or every six months because you really want to make goals that are attainable and once you reach them you can set new ones and continue that process until you really get bored or done with the venture that you are pursuing. I would like you guys to all write down some process oriented goals, write down your performance goals and write down your outcome or long term goals so that you can now start working towards them because if you don't have any of these it's going to be very difficult for you to stick with it when something like an injury happens or you don't perform as well as you want at a meet and you need to be able to look at your goals and look at what you're doing to achieve them to figure out what is going to be the main factor or the limiting factor and allowing you to achieve whatever goal you may set for yourself. That's all I have to say to you guys today. Again, this is Jimmy with High Fly Strength Systems, and I encourage you all to rise from within.